2025 is going to be an exciting year for creating websites. From sleek, minimalistic design through to bold interactions, the way we experience the internet is going to change this year, that's for sure. And of course, there's also AI that needs to be thrown into the mix. AI is going to transform the way that we interact with websites and indeed the way that we create them. Hi, it's Alex here from Brainstorm Force. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the hottest design trends for 2025. So if you want to stay ahead of the curve, make sure you watch this video right till the end. But I think we should just jump straight in. Let's go. The first web design trend I've got for you is custom illustrations. Forget your boring stock photos in 2025. Add some personality to your designs with some custom illustrations. Now, of course, AI images are also going to be a thing in 2025. But personally, I can still spot an AI image from a mile off and... They just lack the personality and the quirkiness that you get from hand-drawn illustrations. I recently added some hand-drawn illustrations to one of my websites, to a blog post. It was this one. It was all about popcorn. And it really elevated the post and, and gave it some personality. Another website that uses illustrations in a really nice way is Headspace. Take a look, you'll see they've got like little uh, characters dotted around the website. A lot of the kind of buttons and interactions are, are hand-drawn as well. And it adds a really nice feel to the site. Another site that I really like that uses illustrations is this one. It's Notion. And they use them right at the top in their hero image. And you'll also see them being used for icons and for other elements on the site. Now you might be thinking, but I'm not an illustrator, I can't draw. Well, don't panic. You can find some great illustrators over on Fiverr. There's plenty of gigs over there. In fact, that's where I got the illustrations for my website from and I had a really great experience and they delivered exactly what I wanted. Or if you want to do it more yourself, then do check out Blush. Over on Blush, you basically choose a collection that suits your taste, and then you can play around with them, put them together, and create your own illustrations. It's, it's a really nice tool. You should definitely check it out. The second design trend I've got for you is, of course, AI. AI is going to play a big part in the design and the development of websites in 2025. The first way that I think AI is going to have a big effect on websites is through hyper-personalization. Now, we don't see this that much at the moment. I mean, you do see personalization on websites like Amazon. And for example, when you log into things like Netflix, where the homepage is customized based on you, based on what it knows about you and what you like and your history and the things you've done in the past. And I think we're going to see this on a lot more websites in 2025. These websites are going to basically be fluid. They're going to change the design and their layout and what they offer depending on the visitor. The second way that I think AI is going to have a big effect is in the actual design and the development of websites with tools like ZipWP that already have the functionality to help you create websites using AI. It's going to reduce the amount of time that we spend on design and development. By the way, if you haven't checked out ZipWP yet, you should certainly take a look. You'll find a link to it in the description. It's a great tool and has certainly streamlined the way that I create websites. The third design trend I've got for you is big headers. I love a big header. It gives a website a bold and a clear look, and it just makes an impact as soon as you land on the page. By having a big header, it's a great way to get across your key messages. It's also a great way to present your calls to action. I found a few websites that have already adopted a big header design style. One that I really like is the Discord website. Got a really nice big header at the top with a very clear message and a very clear call to action. And the big header isn't just on the home page. If you navigate around, you'll find it on a number of their sub pages too. And yeah, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Stripe is another website that have got a very big header. It's particularly on their home page. It's clear, it's striking. I mean, I've always loved Stripe's uh, use of colors, but with that big header, it's just it's just a lovely design. It looks really good and it kind of reduces the clutter that's on the page. Another website that's got a big section at the top of their pages is this one. It's Pitch. And on the home page, it's got a very bold statement and a large uh, area at the top. But then also within some of the sub pages, you will find pages that have got a very large header and it makes the design really pop. 
Now, you may look at these websites and say, well, it's just a large hero box. But I think the kind of key difference is, is that the color matches with the top navigation area, with the header area. It kind of all blends into one. So it's uh, it's not just a hero box. It's not just a header. It's, it's all combined, which creates this kind of big header feeling. The next design trend I've got for you is voice enabled websites. Nowadays, people are getting very used to interacting with technology with their voice. And in 2025, websites will be no exception. I think that in 2025, it's going to become a lot more common to navigate and to find products, services and information from websites using your voice. No more typing, no more clicking. Now, at the moment, there aren't that many websites that can do this. Google do it. You can do a Google search with your voice. Bing do too. And then, of course, there are things like smart speakers like Alexa, which well, they aren't strictly websites, but they kind of t allow you to tap into websites like Amazon. I think it may become more common towards the end of the year as we wait for these technologies to mature. But at the moment, if you want to add voice to your website, do go check out these guys. It's VoxPal. And yeah, they offer a voice enabling service for your website. The next design trend I've got for you that's going to be big in 2025, and I really love this one, it just looks so cool, is window and shadow overlays. Now, I'm not just talking about simple box shadows. I'm talking about realistic shadows that kind of look like sunlight is cast over the page. It makes websites feel really natural. Let me, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. This site, Daylight Computer, and as you scroll through it, you can see the shadows and the lighting change. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. They also incorporate the windows. You've got different panels being overlaid on top of the shadows, and it just gives the whole site a really natural and airy feel. I think it's a great design technique, and I'm looking forward to seeing it on many more websites. Trend number six I've got for you is basically less is more. I'm talking about ultra minimal aesthetics and big, bold typography. I think in 2025, we're going to see a lot of designs that have a very stripped down interface, very big, bold typography, and lots and lots of white space, particularly on mobile devices. A couple of examples of this, well, one is Medium that uses bold typography in a really nice way. The pages are reduced of all clutter. I mean, on the home page, it's literally just the call to action, just that big kind of hero space, I guess, with just a button. There's nowhere to scroll. There's nowhere to go. It's ultra minimalistic. Another example of a great use of bold typography is the Apple website, especially on the product pages. They're all clear. They're all minimal. Just nice, big, bold images and nice, clear text. The next design trend that I see becoming increasingly more popular is dark mode. So this is when you have a design that basically inverts the conventional light background and dark text with a dark background and light text. And quite often there'll be a toggle so that the visitor can choose which mode they'd like. Or you can even have your website reflect whatever settings they have on their computer, which is cool too. Now, this trend is not just about aesthetics, although I think dark mode sites do look really cool. It's also about reducing energy consumption and also reducing the strain on people's eyes. I've got a couple of examples of websites that have a dark mode. The first is Reddit. Now, although Reddit is not a particularly great looking site, they do have the dark mode feature, which is good if you're going to be reading a lot of text, especially in a darkened room. Another website that allows you to choose the theme, whether you want it light or dark, is this one. It's the developer's website over on Mozilla. Here, if you look at the top, you can choose your theme, and yeah, the dark mode just looks really nice. The next design trend I've got for you is bento grids. A bento grid is a layout system that divides content into distinct little sections. It takes its name from a bento tray, which you might be aware of it's a kind of tray that you get food on and each bit of food has its own little compartment. A couple of websites that use bento grids that give a nice example. First is this one, which is Paste 4.0, which is a website about an app. If you scroll down, you'll see that there's a few bento layouts where they're showing off the different features of the app. Another site that's a good example of a bento grid is this one. It's the Herdy uh, website, which is a bookmarking tool. And yeah, if you look even at the top, they start with the bento grid. 
and they've got the theme switch as well. Actually, I've just noticed they've got a dark and light mode. And then as you scroll down, you'll see that yeah, everything's got its own little box and is, is nicely compartmentalized. If you want to add some Bento grids to your WordPress website, be sure to get hold of the Spectra plugin. And we've even got a full video on how to do it. Do go check out this video where we take you through the process of setting up some really eye-catching, good-looking Bento grids. You'll find a link to that video in the description. The final design trend I've got for you, and this one is really cool, it's micro interactions that can boost engagement. So micro interactions are subtle little design elements that just make your visitors feel good when they do something. Maybe when they click on a button, there's a little animation or a subtle color change. It just boosts the whole user experience. It's particularly good if you've got a software as a service product and you want to encourage people to use it and enjoy using it and feel good when they use it. One example of a site that uses micro interactions is Dribble. I really like Dribble because when you hover over certain things, you get an animation. When you click on the little heart button to like something, it's got a nice little animation that makes you feel good. And there's other subtle little animations that are around the site that just elevate the whole experience. Another site that makes good use of micro interactions is Headspace. This is a site that I've already mentioned. But yeah, if you scroll down and you hover over some of the navigation, you'll see that there's little animations that play. They're only small and they're only subtle, but they add a really nice effect. So those are my thoughts on the design trends that we're gonna be seeing in 2025. But I'd love to know what you think. Do leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that we get and I'll try to reply to as many as I possibly can. Now I'm sure this year you're gonna be building some websites, so be sure to check out this video. It's our latest tutorial on how to create a WordPress website in 2025. It's quite long because it's fully comprehensive, takes you through everything you need to know to create a stunning website this year. If you like this video, please click the like button below and make sure you subscribe to avoid missing out on any future Brainstorm Force videos. But until next time, I wish you the best of luck with your websites. See you later.